Hello, hello, friends. It's time for a heart-to-heart -heart again about my ongoing medical journey. The latest chapter involves trading in the intra-aortic balloon pump for the Impella ECP heart pump. ECP stands for Expandable Cardiac Power. Sounds fantastic, right? Well, it's been a game changer, and I'm here to spill the beans. So let's talk about the Impella ECP heart pump. This thing is like a cool new gadget for my heart and it's the world's smallest heart pump. After a good week of good results with the balloon pump, it was time to level up. The Impella ECP sets up camp in the upper right chest, a far cry from the groin adventures. There is a small cut near the collarbone, and voila, upgraded heart support, but it's still temporary. Now the procedure. It's not rocket science, but it's pretty darn close. Picture this. A sterile cat lab vibes, a small cut up top, and a catheter taking the express route to my heart. Insert the Impella ECP, like right here, finding its cozy spot in the upper right chest, expanding and actively pumping away to support my ticker. It's like a heart's little helper, giving me the boost I need. Let's talk about the risk. Let's keep it real here. Sure, there is a chance of infection, bleeding, or some potential trauma with the blood vessels, but with a top-notch medical team calling the shots, it's like having your private health avengers ready to tackle any curveball. Low risk, high support, sounds all good to me. However, after the surgery, there was some bleeding in the following days. I observed blood seeping through the chest dressing and the dedicated nurse Taylor, who is impressive, spent nearly four hours addressing the external bleeding. Surgeons came by and inserted a small catheter to drain the internal bleeding into a pouch, which I kept for a couple of days. Thankfully, the bleeding has ceased at this stage, although the risks, though small or low, they were real, and I am grateful for the resolution. Now the expected outcome. Brace ourselves for the excellent news. The Impella ECP isn't just a quick fix. It's a lifeline while waiting for a more permanent solution, like a heart transplant. Actively supporting my heart is like a trusty sidekick, or maybe the better term is in-kick as it is implanted. It allows me to sit, stand, or even take a stroll. It's not just about surviving, it's about thriving while I wait for that longer term treatment. And then speaking of long term treatment, the choices narrow down to either the LVAD or left ventricular assist device or a heart transplant. I talked to my spouse and supported by my spouse I've chosen to prioritize the transplant option for the next two weeks, anticipating an organ offer, of course. But if none materializes, the plan is to undergo LVAD, then recover, strengthen, and then rejoin the heart transplant list after a few months or a year. But the best part is I won't be waiting in the hospital. I'll be home trying to live a close to normal life. And now, recovery. Post-implantation is a mix of chill vibes and some severe rehab action. Meds, check. Physical therapy, you bet. Regular check-ins almost every hour with the heart squad to ensure everything's ticking along smoothly. Patience becomes my superpower as my body get used to the Impella ECP's presence inside my chest for those two weeks. Adjustments, oh yeah, they're 
part of the deal. But here's the silver lining. I've got this newfound freedom. Sitting, standing, and even going for a short walk outside my home, but still on the same floor. It's like my heart got the memo that it's time to embrace life. And the Impella ECP is my trusty companion on this journey. In a nutshell, my adventure with the Impella ECP has been nothing short of transformative. It's not just about getting by. It's about thriving, living, and patiently waiting for that long-term solution. Here's to innovation. Here's to heart health. And here's to a journey filled with heartbeats, both literal and metaphorical. After a two-week recovery post-Impella, and without receiving any organ offers, I found myself faced with a choice, either consent to LVAD or linger in the hospital indefinitely until an organ comes, or just decline all the treatments and blindly hope for improvement without the surgeries. Opting to move forward with the most reasonable direction that will keep me alive, as I always do, adelante. I am now prepared for the LVAD procedure. Cheers, everyone.